Welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Brian Reed, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you a feature called SSL Control found inside the SonicWall UTM Firewall Appliance. So here's a scenario. We've all seen this page before where we've gone and visited a website, and a browser pops up with a website security certificate error. Either the certificate's invalid, it's expired, or there's just something wrong with that HTTPS website connection. So as many users do, they go ahead and they opt for the continue to this website, which even though in this case Internet Explorer says is not recommended, uh, and Firefox makes you jump through a lot of hoops and, and so on, but still the the end goal what we find is that the user really wants to get to that content so they know if they can just click this one link they can bypass this error message and get right into that content they were after now unfortunately there's probably a good reason why that certificates giving an error and typically it's not because of just an administrative issue so SonicWall has come out with this feature called SSL control and what this does is the sonic wall will actually intercept the SSL certificate that's going to be presented to the end user and it will examine it for all kinds of different issues whether it's expired or an inappropriate uh, certificate authority has signed it or if it's a self-signed certificate or even if it's a weak encrypted certificate so by enabling this control you can prevent by preventing the users from bypassing this security feature and the sonic wall is going to take care of that automatically so let's just do a quick demonstration here we are on a website it's got an invalid certificate in this case it's a self-signed certificate but nonetheless it's still a certificate error our browser recognizes that so as a typical end user we're going to go ahead and click continue now, as you can see it went ahead and led us into the website as expected so now let's take a step back and enable the SSL control on the SonicWall firewall and see what happens then. Okay, now that we have the SSL control in place on the SonicWall, let's go ahead and try to visit that website again. And immediately the end user is going to get a connection error because the firewall is going to prevent the browser from even having the option to accept an invalid certificate to gain access to that content. Okay, if you're curious on how this is actually done internally within the Sonic Wall as far as setting up the uh, parameters for whitelist and blacklist and certificate types as well as how to enable it on the zones, we've got a link down in the doobly-doo that you can click on that'll take you to that video that'll walk you through it. Okay, we hope you found this useful. Have a great day.